This is Chatsainchi, it's a nut from Peru. It's not famous in other parts of the world, but it's very famous in Peru. It's not expensive or anything. It's you could say it's like Peru's almond almost, because the locals over there love eating Chatsainchi. I found this in a health shop in South Africa. It was marked down, it was like a week or two beyond the expiry date, so it's not very popular in Africa, Satsainchi. But I mean you can make a very nice milk with this and it tastes decent, it's a unique taste. Hard to describe the taste. It's just like a very unique nut taste. It goes well with uh, dark chocolate for example. Most people would prefer something like peanuts. So let's see what we can do and make a milk. Put in three cups of water. Let's make the milk. So obviously the finer you can make the nuts, the more milk you're gonna get out of this. The more flavor your milk will have. That's why I shouldn't be shy to like just let the blender run for a minute or so. This is my nut milk bag. You buy this at the store, you can also use a sieve or something. I'll show you what else. You can also use one of these and just squeeze it out of the bottom. But generally a custom made nut milk bag is better to use like this. So you put it inside another container. You put it inside of this or anything else that you have that will fit. And then we're gonna start, let's just do one more buzz. And now we're gonna ruin the milk. Okay, this is how it looks like. Now you have to squeeze out the milk at the bottom. See, there's already some milk there. And you have to really squeeze all the stuff out. There will be a fine powder left that you can use for baking or so. The flour of the nut will remain after you squeeze out all the milk. So you could use any nut for this, it doesn't have to be such an inchy. But using this exotic nut, it's kind of a way to demonstrate that you can use any nut whatsoever, whatever nut you prefer. Walnuts, almonds, macadamias, peanuts, any type of milk that you prefer. It's filling up quite nicely, but the final taste will be the taste. So, squeeze out the milk, let's see if it tastes nice. The taste isn't that strong, it's a weak sort of taste. Maybe with this specific nut, use a bit less water. This is the Satsainchi powder, what remains after you squeeze the milk out. 